Hey everybody, Eric Hayden here on YouTube. Warm, hot, dry weather here across Eastern North Carolina. Also windy, I apologize if the video is a little bit muffled because of the wind. One thing I've done for the first time since the end of February, finally went out and got a haircut. Been over three months, certainly long overdue. As far as the garden goes, we're gonna to talk today about spider mites. Uh, anytime you have dry, hot weather especially, they can multiply pretty quickly. And if you've watched our videos um, the, over the past week or two, even during a rainy spell, we had noticed a spider mite infestation. Um, and it's really kind of taking a toll on some of the roses, in particular this European touch. Overall, very healthy, but notice missing a lot of leaves um, on the lower part of the foliage. And again, that speckled um, yellow nature to the leaves. Um, if you're a little unsure, if you rip one of the leaves off, you can look and see the underside. Uh, these aren't quite as bad as they were before because I have been spraying. Uh, but just looking at some of the undersides of the leaves, again, it has that um, sandpaper type of texture to it. Uh, so those are definitely spider mites. When I look at the leaf, I don't see a lot walking around. Uh, so the mitocides I've been spraying uh, are having an impact, but there's still, if you stare really closely, are some mites walking around. So today I'm gonna to try something a little bit different. I will still do once a week a miticide, and I am rotating so I don't have any issues resistant, with resistance, but it's kind of a uphill battle because look at these leaves on secret right here starting to uh, turn yellow. So I need to do something different. Once a week is not cutting it. Um, so what I'm gonna do since it's so hot and dry out, I'm gonna water the underside of the leaves. Not something you want to do at night. This is not something you want to do in the evening. If you do this in the morning or even the middle part of the day with the sunshine and, and for me with the wind, these leaves are going to have plenty of time to dry out by evening. So you don't want to do this to keep the leaves wet at night. So certainly advise doing it earlier in the day or the hot part of the day. So the video is going to be about using a water wand. Uh, I've got a couple of these, nothing special. This is just your typical garden hose. Uh, and I don't even have the other attachment, but I, I swap out this shower head attachment and I put on something that has a um, adjustable nozzle on it that has a um, stronger spray. So I don't use this one, but the point of showing you this is it's just a regular old water wand that's curved. So when I go by with my spray, I can turn it on and off and angle it up because you're trying to get the undersides of the leaves. Otherwise, you're not knocking the uh, mites down. So I used to use a typical water wand. I know there are some contraptions out there you can make that might be a little bit more sophisticated. And I'm gonna wrap this video up because I don't know about the quality given the wind, but I wanna make one more point. The water wand I had, unfortunately, part of the hose got stuck in it and I cannot get it out. Uh, so I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that handle but this end of the hose is messed up, so I'm gonna cut that off. Just really impressed with the materials you can get at your local hardware store or your uh, big box local hardware store. Don't ever throw out a hose unless the hose itself, um, the sidewall is busted. If you've got any issues, you can get a female or male, uh, male part on these. And in just a matter of time, I can cut that end off the old bad one, put the new one on, and the hose is as good as new. Uh, I've got a lot of hose here. My rose garden is over 100 feet away from the pump we have. Uh, so I've got tremendous amount of uh, hose. And you can see both of these have been replaced as well, especially this part here. I tend to uh, get, I used to get whatever was the cheapest, plastic menders, whether it's female or, or male, whatever I need. Uh, but I've definitely navigated to the heavy duty ones this one in particular was only a dollar more. And when I'm watering and using uh, the garden hose as much as I do, I want something sophisticated. So hopefully you could hear this video okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put that um, heavier nozzle on the end of my water wand uh, to do some spider mite spraying. Again, what I'm going to do, I might do a separate video on this, is spray the undersides of the leaves. So I wanna get the underside, not the top, so that I can dislodge some of those not, uh, mites. And it won't eradicate all of them because you're not gonna get the whole surface, even uh, the best you, you, you can. But you just wanna knock them back a little bit. And that combination of knocking them back 
with the strong spray of water along with the miticide once a week should get them under control here over the next couple weeks. I've only done two rounds of miticides, so we've got a little ways to go. See the roses are still growing well. Um, we are past peak. There's a few lingering blooms, but for the most part, uh, we're looking ahead to the end of June, June, beginning of July for our next round of roses. Uh, and you can see, yes, we have some spider mites on some of them, but the overall growth, it has not been impacted yet. But as you saw from the European touch, some of them are losing some leaves and you just don't want that to spread through the garden. Earlier, you can jump on um, an insect in this case is a spider mite. It's not an insect, but uh, insect disease, any issue you're having in the garden, the earlier you can jump on it, the better. Hope everybody's having a good day. I'll try not to blow away here in eastern North Carolina. It looks like it's going to be windy through the end of the week. Highs uh, near 90 and quite, quite windy. We've got some gusts up to 30 miles per hour today. Nothing new. Living by the coast, this is kind of how it is from time to time um, when we get those winds right off the ocean itself. Have a great day, everybody.